This morning, we are getting the latest jobs report coming out of the Bureau of Labor Statistics for the month of May. 272,000 jobs were added last month. That far exceeds the expected amount. These numbers are a shock for the economists who predicted a cooler month of job growth. Unemployment and wage growth were also higher than expected. So what does this all mean for the economy the rest of the year? Here with us, of course, to break down everything we're seeing in this new report, NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung. Brian, good morning. So as we said, 272,000, much higher than expected. What does that tell us about the current state of the economy? What it tells us is that the jobs market is still roaring. Jobs are being readily added to this economy at a fast clip. Again, that 272,000 figure, that's how many were added in the month of May. Uh, that's much faster than the 175,000 that were added in the month of April. The uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics actually looked back at the number and said this number was actually even lower than they had originally thought. It was 175. They revised that to 165,000, which raises the question, okay, well, where do we see the job gains in the month? And how does it compared to what Wall Street economists had expected. Well, Wall Street economists only expected about 190,000 to be added in the month. And again, what we got was about 272,000. That would make that bar somewhere around here. So you'd have to go back to about March to see a number higher than that. And when it comes to industries that we've been seeing those job gains, healthcare adding 68,000 jobs in the month, uh, government adding 43,000 jobs in the month, construction. So these are blue collar jobs as well, gaining about 21,000. And then leisure and hospitality, bars and restaurants, this has been a big driver of job gains post-pandemic, broadly speaking, 42,000 jobs added in the month. These are the big sectors that saw a lot of the gains. So the Fed, we know, is still trying to battle high inflation. What do these numbers tell us about that? Yeah, well, when it comes to the Federal Reserve, they're looking at this and going, okay, well, it's good that people are getting jobs. The big story for them is getting inflation down. And the inflation side of this job support comes from the wages side of things, right? How much are people getting paid in those jobs that they're getting hired in? Well, this report told us that wages on a year-over-year -year basis, May of this year, compared to May of last year, wages went up by 4.1%. That's a little faster than in previous reports that the Federal Reserve has gotten from this particular report. But the good news is that this is outpacing inflation. So yes, inflation is higher, right? Prices at the grocery store, Target, Walmart are all up. But when it comes to wages, at least that is compensating for how much higher prices are. The story was flipped. Inflation was way outpacing wages for most of the post-pandemic period. That story flipped around the spring of last year. We also saw a slight uptick in unemployment as well, not 4%. What can you tell us there and how those two things can exist together? Yeah, well, lucky for you guys, I do have a chart for that as well. So when we take a look at the overall unemployment rate, right, you take a look at that massive spike during the pandemic, over 15%. Crazy to even think about that at this point in time. But look, basically since then, we've been below 4% for almost the entirety of that post-pandemic period uh, following the recovery, right? So it, again, yes, it did take up to 4%. If you kind of draw the dot there, it's basically not noticeable. The last time we touched the 4% mark was technically in January of 2022. So it's been about two years since we've seen an unemployment rate around 4%. But when you consider that the previous report in April, the unemployment rate was 3.9%, going up to 4% is basically just a tick. We'll have to monitor that, but certainly not anything worth panicking over. So, Brian, this year's graduating class, college seniors, they're now entering the workforce looking for that first job if they haven't found one already. Give us an outlook how hopeful this job yeah. market looks for them. Yeah, well, we get a another glimpse of just job openings and how many jobs are being posted in the form of the JOLTS report. This is the Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey. And what that told us in the month of April was that there are about 8 million job openings in this country. If you look at pre-pandemic levels, right, because COVID kind of jumbled everything up, the steady state of how many jobs are usually available to people was around 7 million. So there are more jobs open now than there were pre-pandemic. The question is, what sectors are you looking at? We know that white collar work specifically in the tech industry has been very difficult over the last two years, could be more difficult there than say in jobs like construction. But again, it depends on what type of major those graduates are carrying out of the school. Brian, we appreciate you reading in, getting us up to speed quickly this morning. Thank you.